So we have in the studio a 100-year-old veteran who fought for Britain during World War II, but he's been robbed of his war medals uh, in a burglary mm. in his house in Ealing, along with thousands of pounds in cash and jewellery. A, a dreadful distraction robbery uh, in broad daylight. Last month, Jan uh, Stangrichuk was targeted by three men at his home in West London who claimed to be from a water company. Uh, now, thankfully, Jan and his wife weren't hurt. And we're going to speak to his friend George, who's here in a moment. You set up a, a GoFundMe page, haven't you, to, to help... Uh, you know, get some funds because of the money that was lost. Um, first, here's Kira Durkin with the full story. Jan joins us now alongside his good friend, George, and um, Jan's brought with him the telegram that the Queen um, sent to him, her congratulations message on, uh, on his 100th year birthday. Very few people actually get to see one of these. It's... It's wonderful. That was your birthday on the 28th of May. A wonderful day. Great message from the Queen. But then, of course, you've also had a terrible time with this awful robbery and stealing your medals. You were a hero who fought for the RAF in the Second World War. You served our country. And then people came to your home and posed as, as people from the water company. And they stole cash, took away some of your medals. Not all of your medals, but some of them. How did you feel about um, what people did to you with that robbery? How, how do you feel about the robbery? Ah, ah, thank you. Yes, it was terrific shock for my wife. Uh, what she had a few pounds uh, safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, it was shock for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. What. Uh, I mean, such a thing happened uh, because uh, uh, I thought uh, uh, the people who committed a uh, crime uh, probably should have more respect mm -hmm. for my old age, what happened. Uh, for your uh, old age, yes. for your property, for your public service, yes. for your military record, for your medals. That's they right. had no respect at all. Yes, thank you for a person like you, like a young uh, lady who probably was uh, uh, living in uh, London or Acton. Yes, but in such a beautiful, uh, historic, well, uh, capital, we should have so many yeah. people who who committing maybe yeah. different crimes, yeah. but up to now have not been uh, caught. Yes. yes, and can you tell me which medals were stolen? What, what were those, and those were important medals No, thank to you. you for uh, asking me. Uh, luckily, I lost my medal. They uh, were laying in my sitting room. Mm. Right. Uh, yes, yeah, some of them were very valuable, yes, to but me. You kept them close by all the time. They were with you close by all the time. Yes, that's right. And uh, it was also shock for my wife when she returned uh, with doing her daily yes, work. because a couple of hours after it happened, you realised that the money yeah. had gone... You the see what had gone. happened. Uh, during the day, I very seldom opened my door when some people pressed the yes. button. Uh, because... I knew yeah. uh, what uh, uh, I was uh, mm. told by the chief of the police. Right. What, uh, to be careful. Uh, You're vulnerable. Told me, yeah. Mr. Black, now you're living in uh, Acton okay. in different... George. Uh, Luckily, you've got good friends. City. Yeah. yeah. And, Luckily. George, you met through the Polish community 
Yes, area. yes. Just uh, tell us a bit about what can be done, because you've set up a GoFundMe page. The money that was stolen was for Jan and his wife to take a trip back to Poland. Well, they were planning a, a longer stay, a summer holiday uh, in, in Poland, and they collected some cash, and unfortunately the robbers took that. Absolutely and it's outrageous. just really... It really hurts here, you know, when you, when you read about it. And when you also... Read the story of Jan, a, a living legend who, who volunteered. He lived in Argentina before when the war started and he just thought that he has mm. to go and save his country, save Europe, fight for the freedom. An incredible person. And, and the upside of this, if there is one, is that the British public are always very kind and respect... Yes, People you know, like Jan in our community, don't they? And there you've are seen a, that from Exactly. Fundraising. So there were a couple of bad apples. But when you go on the fundraiser at GoFundMe, then you see, I think, over 400 people already that were uh, putting in money to, to, to help. And, and how do people um, support the fundraising if they want to? Where do they go to, George? Yes, they go to GoFundMe and they just search for a uh, help 100-year-old uh, Polish airman robbery victim. Jan Black. Uh, they can, yeah, Jan Black, Stan Grychuk, and they can find it on, on, on Google. And, and it's really about the medals, isn't it? Because the money, in a way, mm. can be recovered and people are being generous, but the loss of those medals mm. is something that is very important to Jan and I suppose yes. his entire family. And I'm, and I'm so happy because the most important ones were hanging in the closet so maybe they, they didn't yes. find, uh, find them. But uh, mm. it's just the, the British people, Polish people, people from all around the country paying in now to, to uh, get a new security mm. system and to, to, to get him a better holiday in, mm. in his homeland, in Poland, with yes. his wife and family. Well, it's so important, you've think. survived so much, Jan. You have survived so much to get to 100. And I, I, this isn't going to beat you, I can tell. Yeah. Yes, I would have been used to, to surviving difficult days. You have. And I think I still try to do that. Well, you because have. I see so many nasty things happen yeah, in, your life. in the, our uh, uh, future. So I want to live longer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> remarkable. And get, and get another telegram, maybe. Yes. That's, I remember when Mike Wynn was doing small job during yes. her service in you the respect ambulance. The queen. Yeah. And she <laughs> remembered what I did and yeah. sent me her. Send you her telegram. That well, gave give me well, lots of uh, happiness. That's wonderful. Jan, we wish you all the best and let's hope that somebody somewhere can find your yeah. medals because I know and hopefully yes, you will get your holiday back to was. Poland. Yeah. And good luck yeah. with the and good luck with the fundraising. It's also so important to say that if um, you have somebody come and knock at the door and you don't know who they are and they say they're from the water company or wherever and you're not sure, it's okay to say no, they can't come into your house because you know Jan is respectful and he was scammed and don't let that happen to you. So um, important message for people that it's okay to say no if you don't know who people are.